All right, it's springtime and starting to get in some of the spring plots. So just to kind of backtrack a little bit, every fall I normally do like some type of a brassica type plot and I'll overseed that with some type of wheat and maybe a little bit of clover so that in the springtime there is a little bit of stuff. Now I came through here and I actually lightly disc this about three weeks ago. I don't always disc but it's been several years since I've done that. So I kind of needed to break it up because there was some evasive type of uh, foliage coming up. So I'm coming in here now, we got a rain coming and the mix that I'm gonna use for my spring plots is gonna be a multiple clover type mix. And I'm gonna also add in some oats. Those forage oats are an awesome cover crop. So they're gonna help that clover establish its root base and come up and then later in the summer i'll be able to mow that off and have some really thick clover underneath so as a rule of thumb um, what i do is i'll have a clover mix and this little jug right here weighs about 10 pounds and so i do 10 pounds to the acre and i also mix one bag of oats with that um, I've got a plot master here, which is awesome for this type of plot. Um, just in case you have one, I have mine set on about number seven and I drive it about four miles an hour and it pretty much does everything that I need for this. Now, when I first disc this plot, I had my disc angled to where I really broke up a lot of that soil. Now I've got my disc straightened out. I've got my diggers up. Um, so I'm really just lightly touching the soil and breaking up these harder clumps that have had some little bit of rain on them. And I've got a little bit of a drag right here in the roller. And this is just a perfect one and done. So first what I do is I'll take a big Yeti bucket and I'll put in about half that bag, just like that. It works awesome. And then I'll put in half of my clover, about half my clover. And then I'll mix that up really good. And then I'll evenly disperse it here in the bins. So just, uh, it's important that you mix this up really good. Now the plot master, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I've used tons, but what's nice about this is it has little brushes that actually mix it up. For a spring plot, this is perfect. Now, once I establish a clover plot, as long as you maintain it and you mow it off and you give it a little bit of P and K and a little bit of lime, uh, it'll last multiple years and it's awesome for all occasions. I'll normally like rotate a plot that I've done a lot of like turnips and brassicas for fall plots. I'll do those for a few years and then I'll turn them over to a, to a clover plot and then this will be a lush clover plot. Um, it'll take a little bit to establish fully, but I also have a couple other clover plots that are fully established, but they're actually on their way down. So I'll disc those up and put some of those brassicas in there in the fall in those plots and what's great about it is this clover has a lot of nitrogen which is what those brassicas and those turnips need in order to pop so it's great for turning over in the fall but once you've got this mixed up just gonna evenly disperse it here in these bins good to go. Time to start rolling. 